uh, this is going to be, uh, I don't know what this video is going to be. Um, first off, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you uh, had a good one with your family and friends. Um, I had a pretty good time with mine. Those people are getting in their car. Just left a Mexican restaurant. My cousin's daughter, Aubrey, the one that was on the live with me. She, uh, their trophy ceremony banquet thing for softball was today. So I missed the Christmas parade what she was in, but that's not important. Anyways, just making this, that was my foot. It's raining, my wet foot scrubbing on the, uh, or sliding on the, whatever that's called. I don't know what it, the floor mat. Ooh, good word. Thank God. I would have felt stupid. Anyways. Um, recently I'm going to try, you know, we really do try. I don't know if I even try not to cry. I can't even say that. Like I, I don't want to say I openly just cry. I really don't do it on purpose. I just get overwhelmed with emotion and it just comes out. Anyways, long time ago, way before any of you people that watch this channel, ever knew I existed. Uh, I was an overweight guy. I was probably, I guess, 21 or 22. I had to have been that age for Evan to have been 16 or 17. Maybe he was 17. I don't know. So maybe I was 21. Maybe I was 22, something like that. I don't know. I think I was old enough to buy alcohol. So yeah. Maybe I was just 20. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, I worked at a Quiznos in Stockbridge, Georgia. It is to this day still my longest running job. I worked there for five years. Um, it was one of my favorite jobs ever. I liked Quiznos food, which a lot of you were like, what's Quiznos? It was a heated like sandwich place. Uh, it was one of the first places to like, it was like a commercialized come in you order your sandwich they put it through an oven and they toast it mm, toasty was like their brand uh, i worked there for a while like i said five years i met this kid named evan uh he was still in high school when i met him and he started working there he was just a clean cut wholesome big smile young kid and I loved that kid to death. I don't even really think at the time then of how much I loved Evan. Like as like a little brother. It was, he looked up to me. He thought I was funny. Maybe a little cool. He probably didn't think I was like that cool. Because I mean he, we had the same job. And I was five years older than him. Whatever. But I was funny. I'm not going to say I was like. I was not smooth because I'm very awkward. But like I was funny. And I had a good personality. And I was. I had a way of talking. So I would like to think that in some some way Evan looked up looked up to me a little bit. He would he would try and make me and my friend Greg uh laugh with his little like one liners and phrases from things. He made us feel a little younger and you know, sort of like be in touch with like the younger crowd as far as like the lingo, things that were going on and stuff like that. He would come in and he would say something like, Oh, that's what they're saying? Well that's lit. Okay, they weren't really saying that then, but uh, I can't remember the things he was saying. Uh, he would say things like, that's hitting. Or, I can't fully remember. I have no idea. This is a long time ago. Um, and there were things that me and Evan obviously didn't feel the same one because I'm older than him, whatever. And he was like, oh, alcohol. And I was like, yeah, drinking's cool. It's so cool. Smoking. Because uh, I smoked off and on, whatever. But Evan was just this innocent young impressionable uh bright-eyed smiley kid i mean he was a kid so he obviously did other stuff that was stupid that i was like you're an immature idiot but whatever but he was a good kid um we're together for a bunch of years i left quiznos which is a whole story in itself uh continued to like i mean evan would even crack fat jokes i remember that uh, continued to get big and eat at other restaurants and stuff I worked at and stuff. I still kind of kept in touch with Evan through like Facebook and we texted a little bit and he would, you know, talk to me. He still worked at Quiznos for a good bit of years after that. 
uh, you know, I got in the worst health situation, uh, got so big that I couldn't move around, uh, you know, 500, 600, 700, 800 pounds. Didn't speak to Evan for a while just cause I didn't talk to a lot of people. Um, show lose weight. Uh, they even had like a reunion or like, uh, the guy, Jay cook that was on the owner of Quiznos was like selling it. I got my dad to drive me up and drop me off and I hung out huge. I was like 600 pounds at the time, probably maybe even like seven. I don't know. I thought I was going to snap one of those wooden chairs, like kindling. Um, we hung out and, uh, you know, everybody talked and it was nice. That ends go back home, stay big. Um, I'm going to change chances. My hands are, uh, and then just life, you know, you grow apart, you, you live in your own thing. Then the TV show, lose weight, surgery, lose weight, uh, start living talk to evan like you know while the show was like coming out we talked a little bit and talked about like meeting up and like hanging out because we hadn't seen each other in forever um he moved to savannah like two years ago um we still talked a little bit like very little but like you know how's it going oh my god you see this blah 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 little little stuff I need to look him up so I can see where our last conversations were. Um, anyways, my life improves tenfold, right? Lose weight, TV show, ball, social media, superstore. YouTube is all right. Um, Instagram, you know, random TikToks and YouTube videos about me and stuff. I'm not famous at all. We remember that, but like, you know, I get popularity. He sees some videos and stuff of me and he hits me up and we're just, we just talk very little lose touch. We, I think we had tried to, we had talked about meeting up or something at some point, but she, he got married. He had a kid. I never met the kid. I never, I've only, I met his wife, I think once. Um, and then like Monday I'm at work Monday night or Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday at work. I get a message from, I don't even notice it. I get a message from this girl, Natalie, that I worked with, and this girl, Nikki. And it's an obituary of Evan. Because he, um, he died. He passed away. And no one even knows why. Like, no one knows what happened. Uh, it, I've talked to his mom. And, uh, he had bronchitis a month ago or something, but he was at home. He got out of bed, walked to a bathroom. Apparently had like complained about his chest a couple days before or something like that. And, um, his wife found him in the bathroom. I can't remember if I was told he was just slumped over this, over the toilet or the shower. I can't remember, but he's gone. Evan was... 34 and literally never had health issues. Pretty good health. I mean, you have bronchitis, but like that's something you, that's like if you have the flu, and I know the flu can kill you, but I'm saying like for the most part, like he didn't, my life I lived, the life he lived very different in like health and uh, situations and like crisis. 800 pounds at one point. Now I'm here. For some reason, I just was like, what if I died tomorrow? But now Evan's gone. I never hung out with him. I never got back in touch with him. We never we never linked up again. It's really is unfortunate because I I loved working with Evan. I loved that kid to death. He was he was one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. Anyway, I have a lot of like funny little memories, little sayings. Me and my friend Greg still say kitty city, kitty what? Kitty city. Um, or he would say, Kitty City, Kitty what? Kitty City. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Like, you know, we still send little stupid texts or whatever. But Evan's gone. This dude was healthy. Nothing wrong. Me, a person that was the size of a whale, a baby elephant, whatever, still alive. And for all extensive purposes, in good health. 
Mentally, not so much. Whatever. But, like, I just don't understand, like, how life happens like this. How I'm fortunate enough, and I've done some bad shit. I've done some dumb shit in my life. I've been, at times, not a great person. Probably less great than a lot of other people. But I'm here, living, not thriving, but doing way better than I ever was. And then other people, they were for, for all, for all we know, good people, healthy people, had a family, had a wife and a kid, and they're just gone, completely at random. I don't understand it. I don't think I deserve the life. That I have now. It's not perfect. But like. I just don't get it. I was talking to his mom yesterday. On the way up to go to the Hawks game. She's like talking. And then I'm. Crying. Like she I wasn't like bawling. But like I tried to say something to her. And I started crying. And I was like. Oh. And when I found out he had been passed away, I cried. And then when I was telling my my coordinator person at work, I was crying. I was just crying. That's the people for the softball team. One of the one things that I was trying to do when I lost weight was like reconnect with people. And get back in touch with them and be like, hey, this is how I'm doing now. Hope you're doing well. We should hang out. We should talk. We should try and get food or something. Catch up. And Evan's just someone that I never managed to do it with. And I hate that now because he's gone. It would have been really fun to hang out with him and talk. Because, like, oh, this has nothing to do with really, like, what this video is really about. One of the funniest things that I enjoy is meeting up with someone that I have all these memories with and all these, like, good you know, warm feelings about. And then they tell me all these memories that I don't even remember, but they remember us doing things. I said, things I did. And I'm like, Oh my God, I was really funny. Wow. That's why you liked me. Cool. It's just kind of like a, you're sharing stories, but it's like, it's more like an e, not an ego boost, but like it just warms your heart to know, like you had these effects on people that were positive and they enjoyed all these things and thought it was funny. And you shared some laughs and you didn't even remember some of these things, but they did. So it's just nice. But, I hate that he's gone. I hate that I never got actually to hang out with him one more time and talk and um, like reconnect. It sucks. And it was just random. Like of all people, not I would not have expected him to have passed away. It makes me not even kidding. It makes me want to just quit my job and just travel around and see people that I haven't seen in forever and meet people that I value in my life. Cause like, what's a job? I can find another job. There won't be another Evan like that. I'm not gonna say it makes you like reevaluate things, but it just makes you think like, it reminds you of like how quick, just boom, something can be gone. I don't know. This is like my only real way of like getting thoughts out because I, I don't, I don't always open up to other people. I mean, I'll cry to them and be like, Hey, this is why I'm crying. But like, I don't sit and just talk to them about all this stuff usually. So it's you guys are that for me. Um, I don't know. Uh, I miss Evan. Hope his family is okay. I missed the funeral today cause it was at 10 o'clock in the morning, three hours away. That's a long drive. Um, man, you're just killing me. I even got a shave and a haircut for you guys. Well, not so much a haircut, really, but I did a shave. I got a barber to do it, whatever. But that's it. Life is good. Appreciate it while you got it. Um, and yeah, that's it. I love you. 
take care and um, I don't know what else yeah just make the most of every day because it could be your last completely randomly and then you're gone yeah alright that's it love you bye